A monkey on wheels looked wrong, but a proud, sleek dachshund on nice wheels. George knew exactly what Hundley wanted to do. to George that perhaps he should have shown Hundley how to stop. <laughs> the only thing in the world Hundley wanted was to stop rolling. Now the only thing in the world he wanted was for these nice girls to take the wheel shoes off him. But unfortunately, the girls didn't speak Dachshun. I think he's sad because we messed up his ride. Don't worry, doggy. We'll get you rolling again. Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> George thought he recognized that tail racing toward him. But it couldn't be Hunley. Hunley would never go that fast. How many roller skating wiener dogs could there be in the city? It was over. Hunley was sorry he tried these wheel shoes on and never wanted to see them again. A dog on skates? What a talented little guy you must be. And so handsome. Then again, he did look good on those wheel shoes. With a little practice, he could be the talk of the town. Good dog! <laughs> Hunley could think of nothing worse than skating down the sidewalk out of control with a cat on his back. Until... Whoa! That cat's skateboard is, like, made of dog! Milky <laughs> realized that when the boy leaned, he could steer. So maybe she should try it. George thought he recognized that flying dog. But it couldn't be Hunley. Hunley wouldn't fly. Then again, how many skating, flying, wiener dog and cat teams could there be in the city? George thought this was a good time to show Hunley how to stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
No matter what George did, they kept going faster and faster. He couldn't imagine how they were ever going to stop. Then he could. Hunley had never gotten a salute before. He must have been doing an exceptionally good job. Oh? Hey <laughs> a doorman's uniform is as important as his door. Hunley had to get that monkey out of uniform. <laughs> but he still had a job to do. I see you have a new partner, Hunley. You're both so handsome. Time is of the essence. How quickly can you clean an oil stain? <laughs> an oil stain about this size? An oil stain exactly that size. That exact oil stain. I, I have no idea until I try. Then try. I can wait because I know Hunley will keep the lobby in perfect order. Hunley tried to get the coat off George. <laughs> Which is how he found out George was ticklish. <laughs> Delivery! <laughs> Hunley didn't want people to think his lobby's doorman was a monkey. <laughs> George picked the most interesting looking box to open first. Order had to be restored. The lobby couldn't look like this. <laughs> Hunley tried to tell George these weren't his packages. But George thought Hunley wanted to play. Being a dog, Hunley had tasted a lot of tennis balls. But these were the first that ever tasted like... ink? These were the valuable balls the doorman promised to protect. Hunley couldn't stop George from opening boxes that he thought belonged to him. But he knew how to play defense. It was tough for George to guess who sent all this stuff to him. There's a monkey and a wiener dog at the door. <gasps> Those careless delivery guys. If any of my balls aren't properly packed, I'm going to be very upset. Now George understood. These boxes belonged here, and the delivery man gave them to George by mistake. I'll be down to check every last one as soon as I'm off the phone. They had to clean up before the ball collector came downstairs. 
All they had to do was put the balls back into the right boxes. How hard could that be? Sometimes things don't fit when they look like they should. Or they fit in more than one place. But there's only one place they really belong. And once you figure that out, it's easy. Even if you're a monkey. Hunley showed George how to lay them flat. <laughs> they did it. All the balls were back where they started. Kind of. Looks like they're all here. Oh, even the priceless Andy Turkey Rolly perfect score bowling ball. Found each other at last. <laughs> Time to go home. But where was home? George realized that finding someone works better if you're not lost too. Hunley worried. What if he never found his way back? Hundley, what'll I do without Hundley? <laughs> Hundley and George weren't just lost. They were lost at night. They may not be able to see their way home, but maybe they could hear their way home. George tried to remember the noisy stuff he'd passed. Here they were, lost at night, and all this monkey could do was whatever that was. Then Hunley had an idea. They might not be able to see their way home, 
but maybe they could hear their way home. He tried to remember what he'd heard. Now it was up to Hunley's powerful dog ears. That wasn't the right sound. So the musician couldn't be in that direction. That was either the wrong sound or the musician got his tongue caught in his trumpet. <laughs> Hunley knew they were getting closer because the sound was growing louder and louder. But then it grew softer and softer. Hunley tried to figure out how to explain they'd passed the sound. But there are some things a dog just can't explain to a monkey. So by working together as a team, George remembering what they had heard, and Hunley using his sensitive, powerful dog ears, Hunley and George found their way back to the alley behind their home. They were home thanks to teamwork. Hunley couldn't remember why he ever thought George was trouble. Rug's all clean, sir. You should see the dirt I picked up. This barrel probably has the filthiest water in the world in it. George really wanted to see the filthiest water in the world. <laughs> 